Okay, go ahead. Um, our company is called Hair Beware Incorporated, and yeah. All right, so we have an antidote for you. You're about to bite into a nice, juicy burger. You've been craving it all day. Right when you're about to put it in your mouth, you spot a hair in your burger. That's enough to make you go, ew, yuck. Your appetite is ruined. How can this be avoided? Hair Beware. Okay, so um, Hair Beware is a genetically engineered bacteria formed into a crystallized sand, salt, or sugar stain right there. Um, when sprinkled onto a meal, it dissolves any hair, but without harming the food or affecting the flavor. How did this get started? Good question. To be, to be honest, it started with a little accident and luck. Back in the day, we were professors at an Ivy League college. The biology class is experimenting with a bunch of bacteria. We noticed when one of them spilled on a student's arm, his hair dissolved, but his skin was completely unharmed. And we used this strain of bacteria to form our bacteria, so we saved a lot of money on testing. Um, how does this product work? Um, hair Beware is a very helpful bacteria for those of you who hate a hairy dinner. <laughs> it is a chain of Spirella. Spirella. I always forget how to pronounce that. Targeted specifically to wrap around and eat away the hair. And any hair in your meal is dissolved and other substances are avoided, leaving your food and mouth unharmed and unchanged. <laughs> um, we have used some of our own personal money to perfect this product. We are asking for $150,000 investment in hair beware. We're asking for $30 Our best friend Paula Dean as our reference, and she hates when she gets hair in her butter, so she's going to be promoting our product on her show. If you have any information, if you have any questions or want information, you can email Paula at pgirl at harrychef.net. <laughs> and that's it. All right, so <laughs> questions. Uh, why should I pay $30 just so I can? Just what? for restaurant use. Yeah. Oh, what, makes you, what makes you think that you're being you know, that this will be profitable? Yeah. I mean, when most when most restaurants require, and I'm pretty sure the food industry, you're required to wear a hairnet or something covering your hair to keep hair out of the food. I mean, wouldn't that be like if a restaurant bought it, they'd be saying, oh, not necessarily though, because. Food. Because haven't you, like, if you're at a restaurant, sometimes someone that's next to you, their hair gets in it, it's still disgusting. Yeah, I know from what I need experience. to be putting this on, like, every couple of seconds just in case the hair comes on? No. <laughs> I'm just, I'm curious here. It seems like for $30, I mean, this could go by pretty quickly. It's like, you, yeah, it's a really, it's really big bottle. It'll last you a long time. And is, Constantine? Is this yeah, Constantine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. 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 Does the hair be Can you please be quiet? Does the hair beware have any nutrition side effects when it's added to the meal? It, no, it, it doesn't do any. It doesn't harm food. the food at all. How many calories? Or <laughs> I'm not dying. <laughs> what do you mean by dissolve the hair? Like, what's left after that? Literally nothing. It like, actually eats it <laughs> away, it and then the so like crystallized solid disappears. And, like teleports away. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I mean, it's, it's, it's like I don't know how else to describe it. Like, it melts sort of, but onto a liquid, it's just like it just okay. goes away. All right, <laughs> all right. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Do we have any other questions for hair beware entrepreneurs?
All right, thank you.